Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. And today we are looking at an awesome Oracle Mini Pro dock. This one is a one terabyte version and it will fit both the Mac Mini M4 and M4 Pro. Yeah, the model number is MS10-1T. I'd like to thank Orico for sending me this beautiful dock. It's really cool. And where I have one of these type of uh, Mac Pros, it's it's fun. It's really fun. All right, let's uh, let's get to unboxing it real quick, and I'll go over its features. Instructions, nice piece of foam, ah, the beautiful duck, that is cool, easy power button access, oh, that's pretty, very nice. And an accessory box. We have a cable. It goes from Mac Mini to the dock. Right there. And boom. And yeah, that's everything. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so there are some that don't have the SSD and they come with a screwdriver also for installing that. Which I'm assuming Is most likely down here. That's cool. Okay, let's let's do an install. It's got some really nice silicone bumpers, so it doesn't scratch your mini, which is a must. And then got the 10 gigabit per second cord. All we do is uh, oh, you slide the button. Okay, so you slide it the direction of the arrow that's on it, and all you do is take it off, and then Okay, let's just set it in here. Okay, put the mini in. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you put... Okay. So there's some little catches down here. And you slide them into here first. And then put, oops. okay, and then 
slide the lever and then make sure it locks. Slide it back into place and voila, you got it. And then so you have access to all the back ports. Got two 10 gigabit per second USB-A. You have a USB-C in from, from one of these ports back here. Still have your Ethernet, still have your HDMI and power. And then the front, you have access to the ports there. And you also have a TF and SD slot. So very handy for creators. Yeah, all we need to do is put that in like that. And we can use these USB A ports and the nice card slots. Wow, that just, I mean, that is thin and it makes a lot of room for your desktop. It's very cool. Okay, now as far as features go, we have the easy power button. Wow, that, that's really nice. None of that lifting up in the back corner. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the drive that's in here is the Oracle J10 SSD. It's one terabyte NVMe M.2 2280. It's PCIe Gen 3 X4. And yeah, as I was saying, it's already built in. So that will also come up due to the 10 gigabit per second cable. And the maximum read and write speed is 1000 megabits per second. So you got some nice storage attached and all this functionality, which makes it really nice. It's a four in one hub, which we've already discussed the different ports and all that. It's uh, got a total 10 gig gigabit per second high-speed data transfer. And as you can see, it's a tool-free design to install it. All I did is put that into the silicon holders and then put the door on and it back with this sliding button. Very simple. Yeah, of course you have all the back ports accessibility, all the front port accessibility. Um, oh yeah, it's also made out of aircraft grade aluminum. It feels very, very heavy duty and quality. I like it. Well, I guess all we have left is to set it up on my desk and test some SSD speed and try some of the other features like the card slot. You'll be able to see how easy the power button is. Okay, we are back. I hooked up the Mac Mini M4 with the dock to my mouse and keyboard using the USB ports on it. And let's turn it on. See how easy that was? Click, click. And we have a picture. Yay. Yeah. And then as you can see, there is a drive showing that yellowish orange one, Orico. So the one terabyte's working.
Okay, now I need to, uh, need to do some stuff. Let's test the Orica drive out. It should be 1000 up, or read, and 1000 right. We are using Amorphous Disk Mark, which is like a Mac version of Crystal Disk Mark. And we have selected the Orica 1% used. That's not the name of it. I don't know why I said all that. One gigabit. And let's just do three passes and start. Wow, okay. Up to 1000 read. 901. Now right. Nice. Exactly per spec. Okay, let's try an 8 gig file. Wow. Okay, and now for the right. Very good. And let's just try a 64 for the heck of it. We will also try uh, Black Magic 905. Good. And now for the right. Very good. Very nice. That was a 64 gigabyte, so. All right. Black magic. Choose the Orca and, oh yeah. Not bad at all, very good. All righty, very good. Okay, I'm back and we will, let's see, try out uh, my uh, SSD for my Sony. Okay, popped right up. Oh, there they are. Yeah, this mouse, I, I need another mouse. It won't open anything with clicking. And it's brand new. Do that. <laughs> I need to figure the mouse out. Maybe it's just a setting in OS, Mac OS. All right, yep, it's bringing everything up quick. Inject the SSD and we should be good to go. I am loving this little Oracle drive, or not drive, but well, yeah, it's a drive and a dock. So, but anyway, um, I would like to thank Oracle 
for sending me the Mini Pro. It is totally awesome and I can't wait to use it in my regular workflow. And it's just so nice to have uh, SD slots and, and USB ports, you know, regular USB A ports. And, uh, I mean, look at how thin it is on the desk. It doesn't take up anything. Okay, I'd also like to thank my viewers and my subscribers. And if you like what you see and you want to be notified of the next video that I put out, then please click the bell button for notifications. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.